What up? What up? What up? What up? Get some feedback in the headphones. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. What's up, everybody? Dude, today is Friday. That's right. Today is Friday, March 1st. Can you believe it? Today is Friday, March 1st. February is over. Seems like everybody finished with a bang. Every, everything I could see anyway. Seems like everybody finished with a bang in February. And it's... Oh, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. My goodness, I got all kinds of things going on this morning. But it seems like everybody finished February with a bang, which is amazing. And now here we are in the incredible month of March 2019. It is here. It is upon us. And I am excited about it. Last night, I was sitting there and I was texting back and forth with Mr. Tommy Harris from the Chicago Bears. Mr. Tommy Harris played eight years with the Chicago Bears he was a 2004 first round draft pick he was he was drafted number 14 overall and he was a three-time pro bowler out of he came out of uh he went to college at Oklahoma and so last night him and I were texting and he was texting me pretty late he was texting me at like midnight eastern time last night and he was wanting you know talk, talking about the show and just the format and making sure that he understood everything that we were going to be doing um this morning on the show and as of right now i have to tell you he has not joined the zoom meeting this morning so i have the zoom window open and if he pops into that zoom window i will be able to bring him on the show but i just want to let you know right out the gate that i'm supposed to have tommy harris on as a guest this morning but as of right now he is not here i don't know if he got we got the times crossed up i don't know if uh, he thought we were on central maybe or something like that because like i said he was up pretty late last night uh text messaging me and um yeah that's where we're at this morning so i just want to put it out there first thing this morning so i can let you guys know that there is a chance that i might have to do a later show uh with tommy harris or something like that i'm not sure we will work with it but the one thing i promised you guys a while back is that no matter what no matter what the struggles no matter what the trials no matter what happens i will always be here for you at 5 30 a.m monday through friday so again today is Friday, March 1st, 2019. It is a fresh day. It is a fresh month. And I'm really, really excited. Man, my man Eric Thomas, I was talking to Eric Thomas. Uh, actually, he was he was um, working with me on our, on our goalkeepers group. And I was talking with Mr. Eric Thomas. And Eric Thomas was talking about naming the day. See, he was telling us that, you know, he talked about New Year's Eve and he said how it's crazy. You know, so many people make these resolutions and these goals and they get really hyped up for New Year's Day. And he said it's actually because we named the day, right? We named it New Year's Day and because we gave it that name and it's a fresh year and it's a new start that we get really excited about it to the point where we even prep for it. Like the day before, you know, we, we, we is New Year's Eve. And like on Christmas Day, we name that day, and it's such an exciting day for all of us that we have we have Christmas Eve. Like we even we even name the day before because we're so super excited about the day. And he talked about when we name our days, how powerful that can be, how it can motivate us to do more, how naming the day can inspire us. And he he talked about naming every day. Like what if we treated what if we named every single day? all of the time and that's how he keeps pushing that's how he keeps getting up at three o'clock in the morning that's how he's been able to do what he's been able to do for the last 30 years to become the one percent of the one percent he's been able to do that because he names his days right like today's the day me and my wife are going to uh, beat ms Today's the day that I'm going to breathe life into uh, a bunch of a bunch of high school kids and I'm going to change somebody's life like he names the days. Right. 
And it's such a powerful thought process when, when I first heard him talk about that. Like, I want to ask you this morning, like, let's do this. Let's do this together. Let's name today. Let's name it. Like, let's give it a name. Let's name, let's name this month. Let's 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 name the month of March. Let's let's do that. Like, what are you going to name it? What do you what are you going to name March? Are you going to are you going to name maybe maybe we're going to name March change change month. Maybe maybe March is the month where everything changes for you. Or maybe maybe for you, maybe you need to name March struggle month. Cuz we all know what comes through the struggle, right? And maybe there's some things that you need to put down or some things that you need to pick up that are a little, that are hard. You know they're going to be hard. It's going to be a struggle. So maybe March needs to be a struggle month for you. Maybe you need to name it that. Maybe, maybe, you, need to, maybe you need to name March. Maybe you need to name it growth month. Maybe that's what you need to name it. Maybe it needs to be a growth month for you in March. Maybe, 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 maybe March. Maybe March is success month for you. Maybe you need to go ahead and name it right now. You need to name it today. You need to say, okay, March is, is success month for me. I've, I've made my changes. I've gone through plenty of struggles. I've had lots of growth from those struggles. And today, and today I'm going to change. Or, I mean, today I'm going to succeed. Today is the first day of succeed month. March is the month of success for me, for my family, in my relationships with my kids. Let's go ahead and name this. You see, for me, there we go. I like that. I like that. Somebody just put the word train. Don Sankey. Don Sankey, this is a tra transition month. He's going to go ahead and name, name it today. today. Today is a month of transition. So Don Sankey, I want you to focus on that every single day as you're waking up, as you're going through the trials, the tribulations, as you're going through the struggles, as you're learning new things, as you're going through this process that we've talked about all week of change, struggle, grow, succeed. As you're going through that, I want you to remember as you're waking up every single day and getting over there to the gym because we know you're rocking, that this is a month of transition for you. And all of your actions, everything that you do, all of your focus in the month of March needs to be you transitioning in the smoothest and, and most efficient way humanly possible to impact the most people's lives all around you. It's a transition month for Don Sankey. I love that. For me, this month is serve. This is a serve month for me. Since I left Dan Cummins back in October, I've been transitioning into a new role and I've been figuring out how I can add value, what I can do, what I need to focus on. I've been following God's calling. I've been, I've been going and, 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 and stepping into different opportunities, meeting new people. I've been traveling all over the place and I've been, I've been trying to figure out exactly what it looks like for me and my family. And as we're starting to settle in now, for, for me this month, I will serve others. My intentions as I wake up every day are to serve others. My actions, every action that I take in the month of March will be to serve others like never before. You see, I've always been able to serve. I was able to serve my customers at Dan Cummins, and I've been able to serve a lot of you through Rise and grind. I've been able to serve and now I've been able to get out on the road and kind of serve some other communities, some other dealerships and, and make an impact. I've been able to speak on stages. This uh, this past couple of days, I got to be in Lufkin, Texas. I got to serve some guys at Hyundai of Lufkin. I got to spend time with them and pour into them and I love that and it fuels me and when I went in there yesterday after serving them all day, th uh, Wednesday, when I went in there yesterday and I saw a showroom full of people and I I saw smiles on their faces and I saw, I, I just saw that my serving them had been received in a powerful way, not just X's and O's, not, not about just selling cars and numbers, but that it had been received, that I had, I, I was able to pour a little bit of energy and excitement into them. They're going into March. They're going into March ready to perform. I think, I think that's a good word for them this month. I think they need to name March performance, the month of performance, because they're ready. But when I got to see the results of me pouring into them, 
when I got to see the effect that it had on him, it hit me like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do more of this. I'm going to do more of this. I'm going I'm to serve as many people in as many ways as humanly possible in the month of March. Today that starts. Today, March 1st, is my day to serve. I'm going to serve like never before. I'm going to serve my wife like never before. I mean, she, while I'm gone, the things that she had to do and take care of with the kids, it's amazing what she does. And I'm I'm going to serve my wife like never before. I am going to serve my kids like never before. Joel's going into flag football. At the end of this month, he's been so excited, so I'm going to serve him. I'm going to make sure we practice. I'm going to make sure we get out there. He likes watching game films for basketball, so I'm going to make sure to serve him, make sure to give him that. Uh, Savannah's in competition dance. She's got a big competition this weekend. I'm going to make sure to serve her in every way possible, make sure that she can perform on her highest level as she goes through this amazing season of dance where she is just absolutely killing it. I'm going to make sure to serve Willow and Meredith in the different ways that they need to be served to make sure that they know that they are loved and they are children of God and that they can be anything that they possibly want to be. I'm going to make sure to serve my son Fisher. He's starting to transition. He's starting to speak more. He's starting to get his words. He gets frustrated sometimes because he can't say exactly what it is that he wants to say. I'm going to make sure to pour into him like never before. I'm going to serve little Miss Oakland, who I believe is going to be our last baby, the last Lundy child. All at all these babies, she's going to be the very last one. I want to make sure to serve her like never before. I'm going to wrap my arms around her. I'm going to hold her. I'm going to treasure these moments, these fleeting moments where she's small, where she's little, where she's a baby. I'm just going to serve her. Today, I want you to name your month. I want you to name your month and together let's rise. Let's let's rise this month. Let's evolve this month. Let's impact this month. Let's do it all together like never ever before. I'm so excited for March 2019 for what it's going to do in my life and what it can do in your life. Now on the other side of that, I'm a little disappointed right now because my man Tommy Harris, he's still not... He's still not in here. And I mean, I even had some music as we were going to dance. I had some NFL music queued up so that we could bring Tommy in the right way. But here's what we're going to do. Like I said, we got to we got to keep on rolling. So I'm going to play my NFL music this morning because it's time for us to dance. Well, if you can hear it, I don't know why I can't hear the music, but this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we could change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. That's right. A massive impact on this planet. And sometimes all it takes to change the way people start their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show. I need you to say good morning to me, and I'm going to say good morning to you. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, say good morning, and I'll say what's up. For example, (laughs) can you tell I'm a little bit off on my timing? For example, good morning, Gregory Rapice. What's up? What's up, Jeremy Nolan? How you doing, Carissa Jones and Joey Banbell? What's up, Archie? How are you? Janelle Griego. Aaron Hunt Ferguson says, March for me is sharpen. Oh, it cut out. I couldn't see it. She's good. Whatever you're going to sharpen air, let's sharpen it. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, Don Sankey and Sean Weatherby. How you doing, Ralph Papa with Motivation March? How you doing, Tom DeLolio and Sean Weatherby? Naomi Buskner is up in here. My man, Austin Smith. Austin has had an incredible two months. Austin Smith, my man, making the change from being in the streets He's got some new work boots on his feet because today he's going out and grinding it out. He's got himself a new job, a new girl, and a new place to stay. Austin Smith, he's in here in the rise and grind. I'm proud of you this morning. What's up, Sean Jones? 
Scott Simons, how are you? Vicki Everett, we got John Allen up in here. Who else is in here? Trendy Trenda, Lisa Williams, Blaine Price, how are you? Daniel Fitzgerald, I love it, I love it, I love it. Everybody's up in here. Neil Amaral is up in here. George Fleming, my man is up in here. Who else? Danielle Rose, I love it. Danielle Marie, how are you? Jessica Terrell, Pam Biddle, Eddie Gilbert, Keith Adams, Mike Brockway. All right, all right, all right. Enough of that. Enough of that. So, yeah, man, let me show you guys um, a little clip because I think it's still powerful. I got to find out why my sound is not. It says it's going through the headphones, but it's not. All right, cool. Um, I want to show you guys a little clip, something I want to share with you guys that I think is powerful. Even though Tommy, let me check one more time. Doesn't look like Tommy has made it yet. And I, I'm, like, I'm guessing it's just a time thing, and I'll do another show with him later. But I want to show you guys this clip because it's awesome. I don't have long to be up here. My father would say I have enough time to make a sandwich. I wish I could speak a meal, but he only gave me so many seconds. But I just want to take advantage of this moment. Um, about five years ago, I lost my wife to a brain aneurysm. And uh, I remember sitting in the same auditor in the auditorium just like you were. We were in Indianapolis, and me and her. I don't have long to be up here. My father would say I have enough time to make a sandwich. I wish I could speak a meal, but he only gave me so many seconds. But I just want to take advantage of this moment. Um, about five years ago, I lost my wife to a brain aneurysm. And uh, I remember sitting in the same auditor in the auditorium just like you were. We were in Indianapolis, and me and her were sitting here and I was watching a man come up there also and talk about how he lost his wife. And as I was sitting there in the audience, I was only married for 30 days at that moment. And I didn't know 11 days later I would lose my wife. So my job, don't, don't, we, we won't all because I realized that death is a thing that happens in life. It's not a thing that happens to life. So my job is to go and tell everyone that is living to make life count. Make it count. I, I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. And, 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 and as you breathe today, when was the last time you took a big, deep breath? As I pulled my wife's monitor off and she took her last one right now, take a deep one. Let it out. As long as you have that in your body, you got the Brady effect. That at any moment, I got time on the clock. I can come back at any moment. I know things happen in my life, but I can make a change at any moment. So I came here today to tell you to encourage all of you that's going through a difficult time, that trouble don't last always. That I've never seen a cloud sit over one person's house for a long time. This too shall pass. It has to. So my job today to tell you all why you're here, to endure this thing. We've been made to endure the night, but our joy will come in the morning. Thank you, guys. Such powerful stuff. Such powerful stuff. There's some other videos. And I got all kinds of crazy technological things going on <laughs> right now with this software. I don't know what's going on today, but I don't care. I don't care. It's live and I'm here and, 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 and I'm going to make life count. I'm going to make it count. That's right, my friends. I'm going to make it count. And nothing, nothing can stop me today. Nothing it can stop or steal or take away my joy because I am so excited to serve you guys better. I'm so excited to serve you better in March. I'm so excited to serve my family better in march man this guy tommy harris i can't wait and we will get with him i mean he he wants to be here like i said we were texting last night he wants to be here i'm not sure what happened this morning but we'll get him on here but he's just got an incredible story you know he came out of oklahoma and he talks about how he was always he was always the best he was just always the best. He was, he was the best in high school. He was the best in college. He went first round draft pick in the NFL. He was pick number 14. He was just always the best. Three-time pro bowler. He was always the best. And he's, he talks about how he was never challenged. He was never challenged until he was 28 years old. And his wife went to get a breast reduction. His wife went to get a breast reduction and she, she never came back. He talks about how they were on the phone 
and she was they were all excited he was going to come down and they were going to celebrate they they had a big wedding plan but they went ahead and got married at the courthouse something had told them told them to go ahead and get married at the courthouse prior and so she went to get a breast reduction so she could fit into her nice little dress for their big wedding and she never came out he said that was the first time he was really challenged he said it was easy it was easy to trust god and believe in god it was easy when everything was good, when he was winning at everything that he did, when he was the best at everything he could do, he said it got hard. They, they was, it, was, it, was, it was hard when his wife passed away. At 28 years old, could you imagine having to pull the plug on your wife? You're newly wed. You'd only been married for 30 days. And so it made him realize that we have to make life count every moment because there's no guarantees for tomorrow right after that he's he he had some doors that closed for him in the nfl he went from being an nfl player for eight years to having to retire early he had a knee injury and some other doors closed and and he decided that he was going to continue on and he was going to create areas for nfl players that no matter what age or no matter what their beliefs were he wanted to create areas where they they could it was basically he calls it a locker room that they never had to retire from a place where young men could come together forever and bond. And he continues to serve. He continues to serve every single day. He serves because of his belief. He serves because he's been through the struggle. He serves because of love. He serves because I believe that's what we are all called to do. And once you figure that out, once you figure out that we rise by lifting others, that we're all called to serve others, everything changes. Everything changes. This past week, we talked about change, struggle, growth, and succeed. I hoped you like running a series. I thought it was kind of fun to do a series all week. It was the first time that I'd ever done anything like that with you guys. Obviously, we've done some series with goalkeepers groups and different courses, but it was the first time I did Rise and Grind as a series. And it, for me, it was a powerful reminder of what the process looks like and a powerful reminder that the process is always evolving and at different points, we're going to be at different stages. And again, there is no finish line when we hit success, it's actually, that's actually the starting line. It's all cyclical and we rotate through change and struggle and growth and success and change and struggle and growth and success. And sometimes the periods of change are longer and the periods of struggle are shorter and the period of growth takes what seems like forever and then success is on the other side. And it's just been an incredible series. And as we wrap it up this week... I just want to remind you to go out there today, name the day, make life count today, make it all count. If you're going through the struggle, make it count, have it be for something. Don't lay in it. Don't wallow in it. Use it to propel you forward this month of March, 2019, as we all go out there and do all that we can to change the world. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. I'll come back live a little bit later. If Tommy pops in about an hour, I'll be live in about an hour. If he pops on in two hours, I'll be live on two hours. So keep your phones close. Stay aware. Stay alert. And if you need more videos like this, go to glennlundy.com. Of course, if you haven't got your tickets yet to Hustle and Grind Con, you know I'm going to talk about that. Even it may be if I can. I've got all kinds of weird things going on in here. But if you haven't got your tickets yet, make sure you do that. Go to hustleandgrindcon.com and get your tickets to that incredible event. Of course, if you need some Rise and Grind gear, you can get that at glennlundy.com as well. And before I let you go, I want to make sure you know something. I want to make sure you know something that's so, 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 so important. So powerful and so, so important. You, my friend are a child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And you're already starting to make some good decisions. You're in the hashtag Rise and Grind group. You're watching the show. You're waking up early. 
you're 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 posting positive comments and positive posts and and motivational and inspirational educational things and i want you to understand that those things that you are doing they are making an impact they're making an impact on your friends on your family members on your coworkers. they're making an impact on me and i for one absolutely love you for it i do i absolutely stinking love you name the day today name it name the month name it let's go out there and attack it have the most incredible powerful over the top amazing day today that you've ever had in your entire life go out there and get after it and then come back here again tomorrow morning 5 30 a.m we'll do it all over again no Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. I won't be here tomorrow. Come back here Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. We'll do it all over again on hashtag rise and grind. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Stay well. Stay well. Stay well. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag rise and grind. First thing on my mind. Early in the morning time. Daily motivation. Feeling so divine. Waking up the nation. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag rise and grind. Grind, grind. Hashtag rise and grind. Sunrise, stepped into my greatness, feeling powerful and energized. Thankful to be alive. Hashtag blessed, write my mission, vision, values, and my gratitude list. I'm building up momentum, I'm making good decisions. I rise, I grind, I get it. Ain't no doubt that I'm committed. Cause who really loses if I don't win? Can't cheat the grind, only get what you put in. So I'm mastering my mentals. I'm focused on my physical. I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles. I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning. And I'ma wake the world, it's so alarming. I hashtag rising grind. 